Hey, Jonathan Holton here of Mindwave Studios. So I've been, tr tr it looks like there's no uh, HDRI node blur, uh, blur node in Blender, not yet anyway. I've been looking everywhere, I can't find it. And uh, there's a trick on C CG Cookie channel, YouTube channel, they, he, uh, he did it, a blur for a texture on a model where you blur the texture or that's on the model itself but you can apply that to an HDRI so let's let's get our HDRI in here I got the shader open here I put it to shader editor here and then I set it to wor world Add output world output. Add. <laughs> environment texture. environment texture open um, HDRI look where your HDRI eyes are Okay, so you can see it on the right side, or sorry, the left side. Um, I made a uh, little, I think it's called a tiger, tiger bear caterpillar. playing around and thought I'd try to make one. I saw a YouTuber who was doing an adventure trail trail walk and she found one of those and I, I tried to, I thought, oh, they look so cool, I want to make one. <laughs> See if I can do it. So, okay, so we got the HDR. How do you make it blurred? Well, the guy, what he did in CG Cookie, uh, cookie was <clears throat> you have to make sure, I think you have to make sure you're node node wranglers in there so type in node node wrangler and then make sure it's checked you press control t oh sorry select control t okay and then you got it puts the mapping and the texture coordinate so you want to add a, a noise this way noise noise texture put it up here and uh, a curve vector curves yeah vector curves so put it over here. So I believe this goes to the left. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, vector. Okay, the vector goes to the vector of the mapping. Let me look. 
what, what. Text or coordinate. So vector curve goes here. the generated goes to vector and the noise texture goes to back and then you scale the put the scale at like 10,000 really high three thousand leave it to two and then you go to the vector curves Bring it down a little bit, like just a millimeter down. And then the Y, a millimeter down. And then, the, and then the Z, millimeter down. And then as you can see, if you look at your HDR background, it's blur blurrier. That noise texture blurs it a bit. You can blur it a little more if you want. Try But this is the workaround since there's no blur uh, node in Blender yet. So this is what it, what happens what you can do Um, I don't know if hopefully that helps you if it does please put a like share uh, thank you